In this video, I'm going to show you two past paper exam questions based on probability games. These involve working out how much money you would expect to win or lose when you're playing a game. A good strategy for solving these types of problems is to calculate how much money is brought in and how much money you are spending is going out. In this game, I'm playing the game and I'm playing the game 20 times and each time it costs 50 pence. So the amount of money I'm spending, the amount of money going out of my pocket is 50 pence, not just once, not twice, not three times, but 20 times I'm paying that amount of money. So the total amount of money that I've lost is 50 pence times 20, which is 10 pounds. You can imagine that as actually just handing over to the person running the game a £10 note. Handing it over. You've lost £10. However, some of that money I'm going to win back. And that's what I need to find out how much. So the other things that I need to do, I need to do two things. First of all, I need to know how many times I expect to win. Remember, I'm playing 20 times, but I won't win every time then I need to know how much I will get for those wins. To work out the expected number of wins, you need to multiply the probability of winning, which is one-fifth, multiplied by the number of times you play the game, 20. If I work out on my calculator 1 fifth times 20, I get the answer 4. So by playing this game 20 times, I expect to win 4 times. Each time I win, I'm going to receive £1.50, says it here. So therefore, I need to start thinking about how many times I've won how much money I'm going to get in. I'm winning four times and each of those is £1.50 back in my pocket. £1.50 for the first win, £1.50 for the second win, another £1.50 for the third win and for the fourth win as well. So the sum I'm going to do is £1.50 times four. That gives me six pounds six pounds winnings. So remember, I've paid out ten pounds, but I've got six pounds back. Am I better off? Well, I paid out a ten pound note, and now I've got six pounds. So I'm not better off. In fact, I've lost money. The amount of money that I've lost is ten pounds, take away six pounds, which is four pounds. So I would expect to lose four pounds on this fair. It's really important to try and keep track of how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. And remember from whose perspective you are working here. If I look at the second question that we're going to have a go at, this one's a bit more comprehensive. It's got multiple parts, but the last part is the bit we're really interested in. So it says Ronan is designing a game. It's about Discs which are labelled and uh, are turned over and then their scores are added together. So the first part of the question says complete a table to show what happens when the scores are added together. Well, 3 and 2 here makes 5. 5 and 2 makes 7. So some of them are already filled in for us. We're going to do 2 and 7 is 9. 2 and 9 is 11. And we're going to keep filling in this table in the same way just by adding up the numbers And you should see that you're starting to make a pattern here. That's just to do with the numbers that have been chosen. It won't always be a pattern. 7, 11 is 15, and 9 and 8 is 17. For that, we get two marks. Part B says, what's the probability of getting a total less than 6? Here are the ones which are less than 6. That is 3 different results 
out of, and if you count up all the different possible results, there are 20 of them. So that's a further one mark. Now the final part of this question says, Ronan uses the game to, play to raise money for charity. Each player pays 20 pence to play the game. If a player gets a total of exactly 13, they win. It costs Ronan 50 pence for each bar of chocolate, because that's the prize for each time you win, and 100 people are going to play the game. So let's have a little look at our ins and outs. This time, I want to think about it from the perspective of Ronan, who is running the stall. So Ronan is going to get money in when people play the game. 20 people, sorry, 20 pence is the cost for each person and 100 people are playing the game. So again, just like in the last example, it's 20 pence for each go, but 100 people are playing. So I'm doing at 20 pence times 100 to work out how much money Ronan is taking in. Remember, they're coming along to the stall and they're giving him 20 pence each time. And there are 100 people doing that. 20 pence times 100 is going to be 20 pounds. So he's taking in 20 pounds. He's going to have to give out some money though. In fact, he's giving out chocolate, but the chocolate costs him money. And the amount of chocolate that he's going to give out, again, depends upon the expected number of wins. So the expected number of wins is always the probability of winning multiplied by the number of times the game is played. We don't know the probability of winning, but we can use the table from part A to work it out. Remember, they have to get a total of exactly 13 to win the bar of chocolate. So let's look back up here at the totals and we can see 13 occurs three times out of 20. So the probability of winning is 3 out of 20. Remember this little formula, the n expected number of wins is the probability of winning times by the number of times it's played. If you type that on your calculator you should get 15 wins. So Ronan is expecting 15 people to come along out of the 100 and win this game. Each time they win, he's got to buy a bar of chocolate which costs 50 pence. So he's paying out money here. He's paying out 15 lots of 50 pence, which is £7.50. So let's have a look now at the ins and outs and compare them. He's taking in £20. He's losing £7.50 because he's paying for those chocolate bars. And therefore, he's actually taken in more money than he's paid out. He's made a profit. The amount of money that he took in was £20. He's had to use £7.50 of that to pay for the chocolates. And therefore, the amount that he's made is £12.50. And in fact, this question did say, show that Ronan should expect to raise £12.50. So they even give you a method for checking that your answer was correct. Again, it's really important to split your answer, how much money is coming in, how much money is going out, and then compare the two. Remember, we were doing this one from Ronan's point of view, so he got £20 in but paid out £7.50, which left him with a profit of £12.50. 